Boy, there's sure a lot of irregularities in this casting, and dissimilar metals and corrosive coolant sure don't help trying to seal these engines up today. So many gaskets to choose from, different types of materials. <laughs> Here to help us with that today is Ron Rotuno from Velpro. Hey, thanks, thanks for being here. Glad to be here. Thank you. We need you to help take the mystery out of all these gaskets, different okay. materials and things like that. So help us understand uh, why we need so many different types of gaskets and materials on today's engine. There's a reason behind you know, why we choose materials that we choose uh, and, and what the differences are between what an OEM style gasket is versus an aftermarket style okay, gasket. Okay, great. Well, let's okay. start with that OEM style gasket and work up from there. So. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about how they design those, why they design right. those, and maybe how we can improve that. Right. Um, well, typically, uh, an OEM engine line is a, is a pretty sterile place. It's a great installation environment. Uh, but as an engine gets some wear on it, say 50,000, 100,000 miles, uh, castings become pitted, the surface finishes might not be what we, they were when, when the engine came off the production line. So we need to develop materials that are going to work in that repair environment. Uh, and that's some of the things that we have here today. Okay. Um, so tell us a little bit more about how the castings get pitted uh, and, um, and really what happens to this material. Does right. it break down over time? It's no one's fault, uh, but you know, after some period of time, you know, the, the long life coolant will, will uh, possibly cause an issue. The overall design of the part might be an issue. So what we do is we, we take a look at, we do a post-mortem, look at the engines, uh, you know, the parts that come off the engine, try to figure out what happened to them. Um, and then that allows us to develop new materials and, and new products. There are many different types of rubber. We've got a couple different uh, right up here. But they're just like anything else, uh, there are different materials. And then within each subset of materials, there's different qualities that we look for. Okay. Um, so one of the things that I really would like to know is when the material uh, has to cover pitting. In other mm -hmm. words, you've got some pitting in the, in the casting. Right. How do you do that? Well, there's a couple different things you do. I, I guess, if, you know, backing up just w for a moment, you know, we look at what an OEM style gas looks like. Uh, they use a material. Uh, these are silicone, for instance. When we look at the requirements of the engine and do the post-mortem on the parts, uh, we, we look at developing a different material. On all the gaskets in front of us here use FKM, which is a Viton style material. Now, just like anything else, Viton, the way we make Viton, and the way somebody else makes Viton are, are not all the same. So what we did is a lot of development work to figure out what compound works best in a high heat and a, in a, uh, an environment that can be pretty challenging. You mentioned earlier about the uh, extended life coolants. It's a great product, but after 50, 75, 100,000 miles, you know, it is going to become more acidic, and when it does, you've got to look out for the gaskets. Um, so in front of us here, we've got, this is an LS-style Chevy engine um, with a rubber compound. Um, the, you'll obviously notice that this one's a different color, and it's not just a color difference. This, you go from a silicone to an FKM, or that Viton. And what that does for us is it gives us great resistance to those chemicals. It also gives us a really nice heat resistance, so that's, that's another uh, byproduct of it. And again, you know, it's something that allows us to differentiate our product by finding a material or a makeup that actually will outlast anything else on the market. So, you know, that's, that's a, the key for us is not only in the and the, uh, you know, the, the engineering work that goes into it, it's also how we, pa how we manufacture the parts and you know, our, our different quality standards and how we try to get that word down to the installation, uh, to the person installing the, the product, you know, trying to help them, educate them maybe a little bit, and also at the same time, you know, give them a, an instruction sheet that might actually uh, save, uh, save some headaches. Uh, sure, that so will.